had to get rid of my apartment through uh, through COVID, and for the first time ever, as a Londoner, I'm actually doing a short-term rental in London, um, which is strange in your own city, and I've just come to realise what a bunch of greedy, thieving bastards you <laughs> landlords are. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you've taken thousands of thousands of my pounds, and uh, and not only that, but you kept your overheads low by changing, uh, switching off the hot water and the heating for two days. <laughs> Cunning. <laughs> Yeah, so but but the clinch of this flat that I chose to rent um, was really because there was a beautiful, um, beautiful antique, more than I think, 120 year old Beth Stein grand piano. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, which was just lovely for rehearsals. I had some gigs, I had some rehearsals, and I was also tempted to cut it up and burn it for heat. <laughs> <laughs> they say garden flat, I say basement by bins. <laughs> My boyfriend was not pleased about it. He's French, he's very particular. Uh, he was not, not impressed by this apartment. And I, but I said, look, babe, yeah, I called him babe. <laughs> I do know his name. So I said, look, babe, it's, um, it's, it's urban living. It's urban living. Besides, the thunderous roar of the Piccadilly line at 5 a.m. is comforting. Um, anyway, um, coincidentally, he, he felt he had some business to do abroad, so he went away from me um, and uh, left me alone. <laughs> Um, and that, then the cleaner came in for the weekly clean, and she said, uh, your husband, he gone, he gone, gone away? I said, yeah, he's just gone for a few days, he'll be back soon. Oh, you're not, uh, you're not frightened? You're not frightened to be alone in big, creepy basement flat? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wasn't till he mentioned it. <laughs> but no, no, uh, uh, oh, she said, uh, they didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that the landlord has gone to great lengths to achieve this 80s retro look. We've got wonderful um, uh, uh, silver metallic curtains that hang just that much above the window sill, <laughs> just to let all the light in. <laughs> got some sort of rough cast plaster work going on and some um, powder blue walls, which is, uh, yeah, yeah, she's gone to great lengths. I think <laughs> she might be a set designer for the BBC. Because the living room, I, I know that I recognise this living room, I think that it was in a flashback scene of a murder uh, scene for an episode of Silent Witness. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the, um, the body, uh, the body on the shag pile rug, and uh, I remember her saying, uh, you see those uh, subdural hematoma regions, they were made by shards of glass from Athena Clipart. 